generative AI from Zendesk for end users or for your customers. Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Dominic. I am a customer experience enthusiast. I've been doing it for 15 years. It's a decade since I've been a Zendesk consultant. Every day I come here, well, not every day. I don't make longs every day, but every day I come here when I learn something and I make a video for you to bring you value. Now, in today's video, we're going to look at how generative AI, this much a weighted feature from Zenas works. So we actually have a demo. It's ready, it's hot, and it is amazing. Now, some of you are wondering, what the heck is this even about? So Zenas has launched this new AI feature, and it's called Generative AI. Now, if you don't know, it doesn't matter. It's fine. I'll bring you up to speed. In April of this year, which is uh, the Lord's year of 2023, Zenas has announced advanced bots at a relay event. Now, they They've actually done some more work and they've come with generative AI within their latest Zenesk AI drop event. That's what the name of it was. So what this means to you and what it means to us as well is a new amazing feature. Now, when I saw the demo for this, I said, oh my God, this is the greatest fucking tool I've ever seen in my life. It's still early stages. You don't have access to it yet because there's a bunch of testing to be done until it's released to the general public. But your boy here, has made an exception <laughs> and I'm working with some really talented people from Ultimate and they're Zenas partners as well and they are very deep into this stuff. So we have a working prototype of generative AI for the customer experience. So the experience that a customer has with an AI tool that is actually a conversation. Okay, technical specifications. So on the one hand side, you have Ultimate who is this very talented team uh, developers who are doing an amazing job in creating these AI models and with their technology we are actually creating this integration. Integration means that we have the Zenesk Help Center. So if you're familiar maybe with the Zenesk products, you have the Zenesk Guide or Zenesk Help Center where you keep your frequently asked questions. So this is the building block for this experiment. So if you're thinking of getting generative AI or you know getting this conversation kind of uh, interaction for your customers, you have to have a knowledge base in place. I've been banging this drum for a while. You need to have processes documented internally and externally. So for your agents to know how to solve requests and for your customers to get help by themselves, to encourage self-service. Now, with this, you're going to take things to a new level because the third component of this is going to be OpenAI. Da, 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 da. Well, you're very familiar with ChatGPT uh, and you've heard that there's many of them out there. ChatGPT is the most famous and is the most, uh, I don't know, the most advanced, if you will, in the market. You get your knowledge base, you get your OpenAI integration, and these are making a concrete conversation with your customer. So OpenAI takes your database, it reads it up, and it converses with the customer according to what they ask, if they find something in this knowledge base. The thing that I want to point out here is data security. Now, as you know, ChatGPT and OpenAI have uh, scanned the internet, all of it, until 2021. So they made this database of language models. They use this as the base of the bot's way of interacting with you. You ask it a question, it goes and looks up if it knows anything about this and it comes back and spews out what it knows about this in a very conversational experience type of thing. Now, the concern for security was very obvious. So, hey, open AI, if I have built this frequently asked question or question and answer database in 20 years of experience. Why would I give it to you for free so you can just take it up, absorb it, and then just use it for the general public? They will not necessarily need me anymore. So you're taking me out of the equation. That's not cool, that's not nice. That I don't want it. No, this is a valid concern and it makes perfect sense. So Zenis has partnered up, partnered up with OpenAI. So they've essentially built up a way that cuts away OpenAI's ability to store that information. So how this works is it takes the information, the question from the customer, goes to your database, sends it to OpenAI. It sees if it knows how to build the answer and then gives the answer and then the information is destroyed. This is what Zenis says in their presentation. And I have a reason to believe them because there's have some been any data security concerns with Zenesk throughout its history of 15 years. So 
I, yeah, this must be good. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a word from our sponsor and you're never going to guess. It's us, duh. <laughs> if you wanna use a Zendesk Consultant's 10,000 hours to make sure you're getting the most out of your Zendesk, if you wanna have simplified processes, if you want to make sure your team is productive, you want to make sure that your customers are getting the best customer experience, show management that you made the right choice with Zendesk, automate as much as possible to free up time for you, then hop on over to roca.work slash offers and we'll ask you for your team size, we'll ask you for what kind of service you need and then you leave your name and email and we'll give you a ballpark. Now based on this estimate we'll be able to see how our services best fit your needs and if we are a good fit let's start optimizing your Zendesk. We do this in three phases. First is we optimize Zendesk to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Second is we apply best practices in your niche and third we focus selling more of your service or product. Now again go to roca.work slash offers get a ballpark and let's get the conversation there and let's start optimizing. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh my god Dominic you're talking too much bro just show us the demo. So in this demo I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what it is about but for a bit of context as I mentioned earlier you need to have a database in place of questions and answers that is good that is nicely put together. So in order for this to work, Ultimate partnered up, well, they didn't partner up, but they talked to Moo, who is a startup from the UK, which uh, started off from printing business cards. You send them your design and they ship the business cards to your door. Amazing. So they have a very good knowledge base in Zendesk. So they took that and they made it into this demo. So yeah, here we go. So this is Moo, um, the Moo demo page, if you will. So um, I'm going to initiate my chat with the bot. Hi, and Umi, how can I help? Hi, Umi. What are you doing today? Let's see what it says. Hello, as an AI, I don't have feelings, but I'm great, but I'm here and ready to assist you. How can I help you today? Well, are you uh, created with Open AI. We have a conversation, right? So let's converse. Small note, it takes a while because it has to go to Open AI, create the answer and get back to you. Yes, I'm a product of Open AI designed to assist with customer service queries. Wow, that's nice. So can you help me understand Moo's carbon footprint? I am very conscious of my carbon footprint and I want to know. Let's see, can I find something about the carbon footprint? Oh, I'm sorry for the confusion. Moo is currently in the process of measuring its carbon footprint, including factors like suppliers, offices, and production facilities. Unfortunately, the result of this investigation are not yet available. Hmm, okay, that's cool. And then I can go in and I can read the article on Moo's guide or help center. By the way, me and my team made this design for the Moo. <laughs> this was like back in the day, a while ago. Yes. <laughs> it's not coincidental that I chose this demo because we also had a say in it, so yeah. Okay, thanks. Can you tell me a bit about the business perks of Moo? Ah, here it is. Moo provides several business perks. An easy to use online platform, dedicated to account management services, ideal for businesses, exclusive for larger businesses, a reselling partnership. Uh, offering an online platform. Okay. Um, and what do you promise with this? I'm sorry for any confusion, but the provided information doesn't specify any promises that Moo makes with their business perks. Okay. Okay, cool. Forget that. I want to know how I can ship business cards to my door. Change the topic. But the provider information doesn't include details on how to get business cards shipped to your door. Okay, what is the printing turnaround? The printing turnaround time is influenced by the production features in the account. This can differ based on the specific product. Okay, do you have any templates available? Okay, so see here. Yes, we'll provide templates for various types of business cards. This includes square business cards, mini cards. Hmm. Okay, how much do they cost? I'm sorry, but the information provided doesn't specify the cost of the item in question. Okay, fair enough. Okay, do you have any soft cover journals? Yes, we'll provide soft cover, cover journals for six color combination. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, cool. And then it tells me here, AI answer. Nice. Mm, so if I want to buy anything, Da, da, da. Do I talk to you or to a human? Oh, 
I made a typo. But that's good. Let's see if, it's up, if it understands. It is taking a while. Let me think this again. If I want to buy anything, do I go to you or to a Ah, customer service directly. Can you put me in touch with a human? I'm pretty sure I can create a fallback in the basic bot of Zenus and combine it with this and say, chat to a human, talk to a human, want to talk to a human, and just give the option to chat with a human directly with the Zendus standard bot, because we do that a lot, right? Okay, I see it doesn't know what to do because it's only been created for the sole purpose of creating a conversation based on the knowledge base, so that's fine. I just can create a fallback with Zendus, get me in touch with an agent, recognizes that with the basic bot, and just put me, puts me in touch with an agent. Let's see, can you help me boil an egg? Let's see what it says about this. I'm sorry, I'm going to this customer service, but I'm unable to assist you with cooking tasks like boiling an egg. Okay, do you know why the Roman Empire fell? Let's see, does it know any history? I don't have enough information to answer. Could you be that I'm really I'm happy to transmit you a green call. Transfer me. Okay, it's blocked again because it doesn't know how to send me. All good. Thanks. Okay. Conclusions. Conversational experience based on a set of frequently asked questions, so questions that are existing, existent in a knowledge base that OpenAI can use and provide answers in a conversational manner. Very good. I like that a lot. I see it needs some work, of course, to make it transfer to a human. That's all fine. You can do that with the basic bot. That's not the purpose of this particular demo. These bots have come a long way and they are getting smarter as the more information we feed them. And with this integration with OpenAI, I see this takes the uh, bot experience further. I made a prediction video last year about customer experience trends for this year, and I said that uh, customer service jobs are slowly going away. At least the first tier, the ones that are, you know, consultative type of approach, which is like, uh, can you tell me if you have this? Can you help me uh, understand more about that? So things which are repetitive for agents and they don't want to do anyway, these are going to be taken over by bots. Uh, and it's here. It's it's almost a year since I made that video and I see this is taking shape. It's not in its full form, but yeah, it's it's here and I was right about this one. I'll make a video actually about it to uh, comment on things that I was right on about predictions of customer experience and the ones that I maybe haven't been right about. So I hope this video brought you value. I will see you in the next one. Before you go, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Only 9% of you that are watching these are subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't. I'd be very grateful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.